Welcome to the Fish House Nation podcast. We're at the St. Paul Ice Show, and we are not in the Snow Bear booth. Well, I guess we are in the Snow Bear yeah. booth, but we are in a Snow Bear right yes. now. Yes. I'm with Adam Renus from Glacial Lakes Snow Bear, and Adam, thanks for joining the show. You bet. Thanks for having me. We want to talk Snow Bear with you. These things are awesome. I think people see them. They've seen them on shows. They see them at the show. Tell me what they're all about. So what it is, it's a fiberglass shell uh, that's injected molded with foam and that gives you your buoyancy and then and that's set on a set of tracks with an engine on the front of it so it raises and lowers, that's what makes these things so nice. So you can lower, you're about 10 inches off the ice when you're all the way down and then you can fish. If you want to move, you just simply raise it up, you pull ahead, you go wherever you want and you set it back down. Uh, you never get cold and you fish in a t-shirt really. Yeah, the thing about these, like you said, once you get in, to leave wherever you're leaving, yeah. you never have to open the door again. You don't, you don't. You, I always say you you kind of get in here and you kind of forget about the outside. So you, once in a while, you want to check your tracks for slush. If you go through slush and stuff, it doesn't build up in your tracks. But other than that, you really can run your whole day and do anything you want, ice fishing. What, what kind of conditions can you drive this in? They go through an immense amount of snow. So, so on ice, you have less than a pound per square inch of a weight on the ice. So the manufacturer recommends 10 inches of ice to go out on, which is, which is you're, you're very safe at. Um, you displace all that weight. And then the snow itself, you're still displacing all that weight, and you have a differential lock. So you can run both tracks at once, and you can go through, I mean, six, eight foot t tall or deep snow. Wow. And it pulls powers through it. It's unbelievable. What kind of people typically buy this? What are they looking for when they go to something like this instead of something else that you might see here at the show? It's not, everybody always thinks that it, there must be guides and resorts buying these, and it's not. It's the average guy, a lot of it's the average guy that's maybe saved up some money, maybe he doesn't get time to, to fish in the summer as much, he's, uh, he's realized, you know, if I sell my boat, put that money towards this snow bear, um, these, these snow bears hold their value unbelievable. They, a brand new one right now is, is uh, 59 dollars So 60000 bucks gets you in a brand new machine. You get three-year engine warranty, one-year bumper to bumper, and then they increase the price every year a little bit, and they only build about 50 a year. So it really keeps that market a niche market. I got, I got a lot of used inventory. I got, you know, I usually carry 10 to 15 machines all the time, sometimes as many as 18 machines. And uh, I got an 09, an 09, a 10, and a 12, all at 41,000. Right. So, and then the price just goes up. That just shows you how well they hold their value. Um, the demand is there. They're a hot product, and once you fish in them, it's like you can't get enough of it. You can't wait to go again. You book your trip. You don't care what the weather is going to be like, because you go. And like we went to Bemidji, my grandma's like 87 years old, and and we went up there lowered it down she shuffles into the snow bear we spent the whole day on the ice and it was a blast and there's no way we could have done that if we had a portable or something else to try to do um they're a lot of fun yeah we ice fish with a couple people who are uh, for lack of a better term they're disabled yep and, and i could just see how this would be awesome for them yeah yep. go out and you really you know take your right where you need to go exactly i just sold one to a guy he's from minot and uh, his dad's in a wheelchair and he's got Lou Gehrig's disease, and he's getting ramps. He lower, he's gonna lower it down, let his, da let his dad go up into it with the ramps, and uh, fish with him, and get a couple more years of fishing with him. Yeah. And that's, so you see some of that. You see some of the older generations where they uh, can get more, more fishing at a, com at a very comfortable level. You sell a ton of these things more than really anybody else out there. Where do they go? Who's, where, what bodies of water do you see most of these out we see a lot of these in the Dakotas. There's some in Minnesota. There's a lot around Devil's Lake and uh, South Dakota. I'm not assisted in South Dakota. Uh, there's quite a few there. I think there's, they're popular. They see them more. They're getting more and more popular in the cities. And, and there's even a new dealer they started out in New York now. So the trend is there. It's just a matter of other people seeing them. You don't have to have a big shop and all this stuff to get them. They lower down and they'll go into a seven foot garage stall. So the average person can back it into his garage, and I've done it myself numerous times, and it works very well. Awesome. And, and the one that we're in right now, I and mean, this is gorgeous. I mean, you've got mm -hmm. this thing all decked out. What are some of the features, and how how the different types, I guess, that you can get? How do they range? So the sixty thousand dollar mark is a TL, and that that is your standard shell 
with, with two benches and a driver's chair, or you can get it four chairs and a driver's chair. You get the same engine. It's, it's a Hyundai, or it's a, it's a uh, it was a Hyundai. Now they switched to a Briggs & Stratton Vanguard 40 horse. Uh, a fuel injected engine, works very well. Plenty of power for it. And then if you want to go to an XP model, that's what we're in now. This is all leather trim inside and it adds 15,000 more to the cost. It gives you a lot nicer look. They only build maybe six of these a year. This year, they built three so far. Um, and then we, we took, so this is at 75, then we took this one one step farther and we added the Garmin Live Scope. We did two TVs, a generator rack. We actually put a grill on this one. We did a cooler rack. We did LED lighting on the inside and underneath. So when you're driving across the ice in the morning, it lights up whatever color you want it. Um, we added the Vexlars, added Lorenz, we added a backup camera. We're just constantly dreaming of more stuff to add to these. And that added another 15,000 on the price of this. But it's all that stuff makes it really cool. Yeah, this one's decked out and, and really if you bought this, what all you need to do is bring your rods and bait. 100%, that's all you need to do. And the, the Garmin Live Scopes work very, very well in these snow bears. They, that's where these, these Live Scopes really shine. They, you can set it down, you'll spin it around, see if you see fish. Uh, you can see what hole it's coming in at what line all at the same time and then if you're not seeing fish you can lift up your snow bear move somewhere else and set it back down works very very well you guys have the catch covers in these yes you pop those you drill your holes yes you never go outside no fish. the catch covers work tremendously well in these things they you, you, you drop it down it keeps your cold air out and uh, we can't say enough good, good about the catch covers what's it like to fish out of one of these it spoils you it spoils you and it makes it very hard to go back to something else. Um, but they hold their value so well that once you can get over that first initial writing that check, it, and it, it's, it's, it's a toy that you don't lose money on and you get to use it, use it uh, and enjoy it. And you can book a trip with your dad or your family. You can bring kids out like we got kind of right now in here and uh, they love it. Put a DVD in the, in the TV and let them move around. I got two little boys and and they want, they're three and five, they want me to take one to show and tell for them for, for daycare. <laughs> and right. We haven't yet, but we're going to do that. <laughs> How much ground can you cover with this? You can go, so the, it's got a 14 gallon fuel tank and you can go 90 miles on a tank of fuel. So you'll fish all weekend for like $7. And then uh, you don't need a great big truck to, to haul these things. You can, they only weigh 3,600 pounds. You can put them on a single axle trailer and if you want, it works very, very well. Um, a lot of guys think, boy, a single axle, you know, I'm a little scared of that. It works well. If you want to go to tandem axles, you can do that. I got brand new ones, used ones. Um, or you can go to an enclosed trailer. And enclosed trailers run about 13.5. But the nice thing is, is you come back from Canada or wherever you went, and your machine still looks like brand new. And, and it is nicer. We notice that on the machines that we service, when they're coming in enclosed trailers their whole life, they literally look like brand new still. But then you really want a three-quarter ton truck to pull the enclosed. But a half ton is more than plenty for everything else. What kind of speed does this get over the wall? You get about 21. Now, if you get on a groomed trail, I've had heard of reports up to 25 with this new engine, mm -hmm. but 21. And you run most of the time half to three-quarters throttle. Sure. That's plenty of speed. Yeah, and a lot of times on the lakes, they're not always smooth. So exactly you right. Don't, you don't want to open it up typically. Exactly right. Is there anything about Snow Bear that I didn't ask you that you really want to get across today? I would, we got financing also. So we got 10 year financing, nothing down if you got a decent credit score. I can get you into one of these. It's, it's, a, it's almost so easy, it's scary to do it that way. I can also do 20 year financing if you want. It takes 10% down, uh, a decent credit course score. Still takes a little bit more paperwork. Um, otherwise, no, if you, I run a, I run a Glacial Lake Snowbear flag on mine. Mm -hmm. If anybody ever sees it out on the ice, more than happy, stop in. I'll talk snowbears all day long. If they want to call me, my cell phone six zero five two three seven nine one nine seven. And uh, no, I, I try to answer and get back to the phone calls. And we carry a lot of parts on hand. We probably have forty to fifty thousand in parts and accessories on hand all the time. And. We got three employees. We're adding on to the shop now for Snowbear Bays just so we can kind of keep up. It's uh, it's getting more and more popular. Yeah, you guys are the big dealer. Where are these made? They're made in Isanti, right north of the cities. They're originally invented in Fargo. And uh, they were there until about 16, and then they got moved to the cities, mainly from their workforce. They just couldn't get enough help. And uh, the cities has been good for them. Um, 
So yeah, there, there's dealers, there's other dealers scattered around besides me. I'm in, I'm in the northeast corner of South Dakota, but uh, yeah, they can sure get a hold of me and I can get them in when they come out, we can demo one around, whatever we want to do. Awesome, do you have a website? I do, glacialakesnowbear.com. I got a Facebook page, same thing, Glacial Lake Snow Bear. Um, yeah, my name's Adam Renus, they can tag that in there, that'll find them to me. Awesome, Adam. Really I appreciate, appreciate it. you meeting yeah. with us and hope you had a great show and I had did. safe travels back home. You did, thank you.